Christmas memories. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing my Christmas home tour with y'all. You guys have been asking and asking when I'm going to share this. So I'm really excited to be filming this for you today. Now I am going to be taking you through our entire house and just showing you every area that I've actually decorated for Christmas. I kind of went like a little bit minimal in some areas and then others I kind of went a little bit crazy, but we kind of decorated mostly in like a winter wonderland theme and then a few little traditional touches as well, just kind of like some Santa things and stuff for our boys. So I'm really excited to go ahead and be sharing that with you guys because as I said, you guys have been asking for this. Now I did go ahead and share a Christmas decorate with me, which I will link up here for you guys. If you have not seen that, you can kind of see how I actually put things together in our main living area. And then I am also going to be sharing a hot cocoa decorate with me and of course a clean with me mixed into that one because you guys love the cleaning videos and you know I do a lot of them. So that will be coming up later this week. So definitely stay tuned for that. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and start out on our front porch. It is pretty simple. I'm thinking I might go ahead and do something else with this a little bit, but we have this welcome sign and this is just from Hobby Lobby. And then this little bear was actually made for my husband and I when we were first married. And then we got this Christmas tree. This is just the one from Walmart. This is a $35 flock tree. I thought this was so pretty and I thought it would just go so pretty by our front door, so I loved that. And then this is one of the wreaths that I shared in my Christmas decor haul. I thought this was so gorgeous just because it looked like it was kind of snow dusted and it had the little pine cones on it. And this one is just from TJ Maxx. All right, let's go ahead in. So standing at the front door, you can kind of see a little bit into my office and then also just like our foyer area. And then this is the main part and there's Emma just sleep in. This is the main part is just in our living room. So I will come into here, but let's first start in my office. All right, coming into my office, you first just kind of see our couch. This is pretty new to us. We've only had it just a few weeks, but it's really made the space a little bit more usable and useful for us. So I just got this scarf. It's actually a blanket scarf, but I went ahead and used it just as a throw here. And that one is from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this pillow from Target Dollar Spot last year, I believe. And then this one was from Aldi last year as well. So I am mostly just going to be talking about the Christmas decor because this is a Christmas home tour. But if you guys do have any questions about anything else, let me know and I can definitely answer them for you in the comments. So coming over from the couch, I have this little bookshelf area or more of like a cube shelf, but they are super convenient. And on here, I just have like our wedding picture and then some cotton stems. And then this is one of my favorite things. It is actually the Willow Tree Nativity Set. And I love to incorporate things like this just because we do like to teach our boys and just kind of remind our boys what the Christmas season is really about. Kyle actually surprised me with this like several years ago. I cried, I was so excited because he knows I love Willow Tree. And so I usually try and get a new piece every year but I do have this one saved on my Amazon's favorites and it's actually not too pricey, so definitely check that out. I will leave that in the description box. And then on my desk, I actually just kind of kept things really simple on here. So I just have like a little floral piece on here. And then I also have this Christmas tree that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And this actually just reminded me, but I have teamed up with a few amazing other YouTube mamas and we are giving away $300 worth of Visa gift cards for Christmas this year. So definitely head over to our Instagrams. I will leave them down below in the description box and then go ahead and find the posts with this and you guys can enter to win. That will be open until this next Sunday. And then moving on from my desk, I have this little area and I just have a mirror above it. 
and I decided to go ahead and put my red truck that I had on my mantle for fall and I just put one of these little Christmas trees in it. I got this red truck from Hobby Lobby so I will try and link it down below for you guys. I know they still have it because it's not a seasonal decor piece. And then this happy holiday sign is actually from my friend Ashley and her company is something you would love. I do have a coupon code as well so I will leave that down in the description box but I thought this was so, so pretty. And then I just have this sleigh right here and this was from the Target Dollar Spot as well. And I also have pine cones in there. And these are the scented pine cones. So I thought this was really nice because even if I don't have my diffuser on or something or a candle going, I at least have some scent in here that kind of reminds me of Christmas. So I loved how this little shelf turned out. When you come right out of the office, you can kind of see our foyer area. This is just where we keep the boys' shoes. And then we also have some little pillows on this bench. So the big pillows behind it are just pillow covers that I got from Ikea. And this personalized pillow I got from Pick Your Plum. I thought this was so cute and it was actually like $8, so a really good deal. And then of course above, we just have the mirror. <laughs> now in our kitchen, I have actually kind of kept things really quite simple and just minimal in here because I like to keep a lot of my counter space free and I just don't like to feel very cluttered. So I will show you exactly what I did in here. So starting over here in this little corner, we have our hot cocoa bar, which as I said, I will be sharing in a video. So I will kind of go into that a little bit more in that video, but we do have our elf on the shelf sitting here. I am kind of sharing some ideas right now for different things that he does over the month over on my Instagram. So definitely check that out if you guys do that. The thing that he did this time is he went ahead and filled out our money board for us. Yeah, so. This week we are not eating healthy at all, apparently. <laughs> so the next thing we have in here is this wreath and this was shared in my Christmas decor haul, but this one was from Big Lots. I love this. I love like the contrast between the bright white and the dark browns. I think it's so pretty. And I really think that adding a wreath to your pantry makes a big difference and it also doesn't take any counter space at all. So I love that. Over here, I just have this silent night, holy night, and it has the three wise men heading over to see baby Jesus. And then I have this little plant and I got this from the Target dollar spot. I think this was about $3, but I just love the simplicity of it. And I also love that in our kitchen where we are at all the time, we are still kind of remembering the real reason for the season. We usually eat at our table every night or at least most nights. And so I wanted, I always like to have something like a tray here and that way we can go ahead and just pull the tray off and move the table runner if we need to and eat at the table. And it's not like a big ordeal. So that's why I kind of like to have my centerpiece on my table a little bit more compact. And I also, in the fall, if you remember my fall decorate with me, I went ahead and kind of made like the whole tray just centerpiece, like just decor. And we actually usually kind of use like our fruit as decor a little bit, just because I feel like it's bright and it's also kind of attractive for our kids to come up and grab a fruit instead of another snack. And I just realized that I really missed not having fruit on our table. So this time I went ahead and did a little bit of a mixture. So I added my picture right here with some Walmart flowers and florals that I found. I thought this was really pretty. And then down here, I just have a Dollar Tree Jingle Bell and then this little dollar piece that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. It's actually also an ornament but I just went ahead and cut the top off right there. So I love how this turned out and I felt like it was just really pretty and also practical. All right, next to the couch, I actually got this little tray from Ross and I use this all the time. I feel like it kind of can go with any season just because it's so neutral. And then I got this little Jingle Bell last year, I believe from Walmart. And then I like to add little bits of florals and like pine cones and things like that as fillers. I just think it kind of rounds out any design. So I got this little piece from Hobby Lobby and I believe those came from either Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And then this little tree came from the Wonder Spot at Target for like $3. So definitely check out your Wonder Spot at Target. They have a lot of things and they're really not that expensive, especially if you're kind of being a little bit picky on what you choose. And then on our couch, we just have a few throw pillows. I love this one. It just says, let it snow. And it does have pom-poms on the edge, except for, I think like a few days after I got it, that one ripped off. So I still wanna kind of tie that one back on, but I haven't yet. And then I also have this throw pillow and the one that matches it on the other side. And I thought this was just so simple and so beautiful. Probably my favorite spot in the house is our fireplace because I love having it lit in the winter and then I love our mantle. This is like my favorite spot to decorate every year or every season so far. 
so I got these two trees that I have on the outside from Hobby Lobby and then this bottle brush tree just came from the Target dollar spot as did the sign that says making spirits bright and then this beautiful wooden tree just came from Hobby Lobby this year and then on the other side I have again another bottle brush tree and this beautiful reindeer I thought this was so gorgeous this was like my favorite thing that I got last year from the Target dollar spot and it just says be merry and then I got these beautiful candle holders and they just look like bark so gorgeous I love how real they look and they were from Hobby Lobby this year and instead of putting candles on them just because mostly I didn't want to block that deer we went ahead and put some bottle brush trees on the top and then also a pine cone on top and then I put another one of those trees on the other side and then in the center I have this window frame that I got from Hobby Lobby I wanted to kind of do like a little bit different twist on a mantle and not just do like your traditional stuff so I have this frame that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I went ahead and put these little ice skates that I also got from Hobby Lobby and I just thought that this turned out so pretty. On our TV stand next to our fireplace, I left things pretty simple here. I might end up putting like a little bit of garland behind. Let me know if you think that would look good. I think, I feel like it's still kind of missing something. So just let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that. But on the edge, just to add a little bit of height, I added this little tree that I got. I actually had thrifted it, I think from either a thrift shop or a garage sale and I can't really remember. And then I got this little wooden tree. It's so pretty. It just looks like it has bark on the front. And that one was from TJ Maxx. I got this little floral from Hobby Lobby. And then these houses as well as little jingle bells inside came from Target. And then on the other side, I just have this little pail that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year, I believe. And then I got these ornaments to kind of match the ones that we got on our tree. And these ones are from Target as well. Right next to our TV, I just have this tree here and I actually love it so much because it's so skinny and it's just not super tall. So it's like the perfect accent tree. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. I think I forgot to mention that in my decorate with me. And so I got a ton of questions about it, but that is where I got it. And I really just love it. And I love that it's pre-lit already as well, because anything that's pre-lit, you just do not really have to worry about. So that is how everything kind of turned out in our living area. Here is our Christmas tree. And as I had kind of mentioned in my Christmas tree decorate with me, we don't really have like the picture perfect, Pinterest worthy, Instagram worthy tree, but we love it because we do just kind of let our kids enjoy the memories of making it themselves and putting it all together and putting all the ornaments on it. So it's super special to us, but let me know if you guys do the same, if you just kind of let your kids go crazy with it, or if you end up having that beautiful, gorgeous tree that I'm always kind of jealous of because I really love that. So this is our first Christmas in this house and I wasn't really sure where I was going to be putting the stockings here because our mantle is actually pretty shallow and also we do use the fireplace all the time like every night pretty much and so I kind of worried about these hanging so low but I ended up just tying these up on our banister just with some Dollar Tree ribbon and I thought this turned out so so pretty and I love that it's also like kind of accessible to the kids on Christmas morning. And then these tags were actually personalized for us by my friend Ashley, who also made that little wooden sign in my office. And I love how they turned out. They are so, so adorable. And I just love the color. She does offer a few different colors, but I'm loving this dark brown. I think the contrast between the dark brown and the names is just so, so gorgeous. So this is our guest bathroom. I don't come in here too often just because it is pretty small but I do have just a little stoneware tray that I got from Grove Collaborative. I do love having these in like a few different rooms because anytime you have a tray and you put some items on it, it just ends up looking like it's meant to be there and it doesn't look like so cluttered. And then I just have this candle that I believe I got from Kohl's. It's the hot apple cider and it smells so, so good. And then this sign that I got from the Target dollar spot last year. And then this cute little towel that I got from Target. And it was actually two packs. The other one is up in the boys' bathroom. So on the other side of the bathroom, we just have this little star that I got from the Target dollar spot. And then this little bucket is actually the cleaning caddy that I got from Grove Collaborative. I do have a link down below, so definitely check that out if you want to order from them because you can actually get this bucket as well as a few cleaning supplies for free with your first order. And then inside that bucket, I went ahead and just put a few of our old jingle bells and this little floral piece that I got from the Dollar Tree this year, as well as a sign that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I got this from the Dollar Tree last year.
All right, coming into our bedroom, I kept things pretty simple in here. There definitely is some Christmas touches, but I didn't go overboard in here. So I will show you like everything individually that I did. Starting on the bed, I went ahead and traded out our throw pillows and I got just some gray ones that I can actually use all year round. And then I have this little baby, it's cold outside. I thought this is so cute. It's almost like a little bit romantic. So that was what really drew me to it. And then it also has these little palms on the outside. Up on this tall dresser, I actually don't have anything really Christmassy, but I did want to show you guys a sign. I thought this was so adorable. This was again made for me by my friend Ashley from Something You Would Love and I just thought this was so cute. It just has This Is Us and then I also have our little family of willow tree figurines right there and I just, it makes me so happy to see this all the time. Over here on our long dresser, I kept some things the same like that lamp over there and then I changed some things up. So right here I just have a Bath and Body Works candle. This one is Campfire Donut. Let me know your guys' favorite because I have just kind of recently started getting into them and some of them smell really, really good. And then over here, I just got this little basket that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby at some point on clearance, I believe. And then inside, I went ahead and put some pine cones and some old jingle bells. And then this little sign that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year, I thought this was so cute and it just says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. All right, this area right here is becoming one of my favorite areas in the house. I wasn't sure what to do with it for the longest time. If you remember going back to like my actual original home tour from when we first moved in the house. This was just kind of empty. I had no idea what to do with it. So we used to have these chairs in our office and I ended up moving them in here when I wanted to put the couch in the office, which it's just made it so nice in here because now we actually have a sitting area. This sign was actually sent to me by one of you guys, one of my sweet subscribers. She sent it to my PO box and I thought this was so gorgeous. You guys know that I love the red truck. So I love that she went to send this to me and it just says there's no place like home for the holidays. I love that so much. And then this pillow is actually from, I believe Pick Your Plum, but they don't always have like the same sales all the time. And so if you can't find it on there, you can definitely find it on Amazon. I do have it saved in my Amazon favorites. This one just like it. And then I just got this little white throw from Ikea. It was like a few dollars. It was super inexpensive and really lightweight. So I love how this looks here. And then just to finish everything off, I just have some curtains that I had gotten from Ross and I end up loving this space. They really tied the whole space together and I just think this is so, so cozy and so pretty. So in our bathroom, I really have not done much in here for Christmas other than putting like some peppermint hand soap and a candle in here. And then just over on our bathtub, I ended up adding this little floral piece that I got from the Target Dollar Spot and that was pretty much it. I'm just keeping it pretty simple in here because I don't want to kind of like over decorate for Christmas. All right, coming out of our bedroom, we will just go ahead and head right on upstairs. And while we are going upstairs, you can see I've just wrapped some garland around here. I didn't want to do lit garland just because I felt like we had a lot going on over on this area because of the tree right here. So this garland actually just came from the Dollar Tree and it was really, really easy to work with. Right when you walk up the stairs, you just go into the boys' room. We don't keep the TV in here, we just have this in here for a minute because we we're trying to figure out how, where we're going to put it. And I have not decorated in here at all for Christmas really. We just have this kind of basic because honestly they don't spend much time in here other than sleeping. And then just left of the stairs, you have our bathroom. So I just ended up putting a little diffuser in here. I'm starting to diffuse oils in the bathroom and it's been kind of nice. So that's a new little tip is if you need something to kind of like bring the smell up in your bathroom, definitely get a diffuser for your bathroom. And then I just have our little lamp in here that we always have and this joy to the world sign. I thought this was so pretty in here. On the bathroom counter, I just have this peppermint hand soap. I thought this was really pretty to put in here because of the color and I also love the smell. And then to the side of the sink, we just have this little towel and it is a cute Santa towel with little pom-poms on the bottom. So I love how that looked. And then I have this Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas sign sitting here as well as a candle from Bath & Body Works. And this is the hot cocoa and cream and this is one of our favorite scents from them. Then walking out of the bathroom, just kind of hanging on our thermostat, I have this little sled that I had got from the Target Dollar Spot. And this is actually where we are putting like our Christmas bucket list. So I wanted to go ahead and just kind of make it really simple, but I love this idea of just putting it on a chalkboard and then you can kind of mark it off as you go or you can erase it or whatever. But we are just keeping it simple this year because life is really busy, but we do want to make sure that we get certain things done. 
And then on the door next to that, I just have Luke's little Christmas countdown that he made at school hanging here and they are just kind of flipping each thing off every single day of December. At the very end of the hallway, we just have a bookshelf for all the boys' books. And then I also have this little tree that I got from Big Lots, I believe, and it's just the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I thought this was so cute. And then this sign that says, may you never be too grown to search the skies on Christmas Eve. And then this little sign that says, believe, I thought this was so cute. And I got this, I believe, from last year's Target Dollar Spot, but they might have had one this year too, I can't remember. And then this little snowball tin, it was so cute. So for the boys, I actually haven't really messed with it, but I'm kind of expecting them to go ahead and use them to have an indoor snowball fight, which I'm kind of excited about, kind of dreading, but I'm sure that they will have fun. And then up here, we just have a Christmas advent calendar. Our elf actually finished up by putting up the candies for us on his first day here. So he went ahead and filled it up. So we have three pieces of candies, one for each of the boys on each day. And I love how this turned out. I just thought this was really cute and really festive. And because I'm kind of decorating for winter and kind of trying to remember like the reason for the season, this was a lot of fun because it was more like Santa oriented and just like whimsical. So this is really fun to do for the kids. The last room in our house that I decorated for Christmas is just the playroom. And this is pretty bare in here right now. I'm just kind of trying to figure out exactly how we want to do this. But right over here on this little bookshelf, I just have these five little snowmen. These were actually handmade by it for us by my mother-in-law and sister-in-law. And they did such an amazing job. I don't know how they did it, but it's so cute because there is just like one for everyone in our family. And I just absolutely love them. And I do have a code for this diffuser down in the description box. So I will go ahead and leave that down there. Definitely check this out because it's like 50% off. So you can get it for $20 or less. And then anytime that I show this bed in my cleaning videos, I always get a ton of questions. So this is actually from Ikea. It is the Hems brand, I believe. I don't know if they have it in stock anymore, but if they do, I will try and link it down below. But to start over here, I just kept this really simple because when we don't have guests over, it's just a day bed which gives us like a place to sit in here. So I got these little pillows from Burlington Coat Factory. I thought they were super, super cute. And then this pillow is just from Ross and it says, this house is under elf surveillance, which I thought was so cute because during September, we really are under elf surveillance because our little elf on the shelf is here watching over us all the time. And then right next to that, I just have this little Santa bin that I also got from Ross. And in here, we just have like all our Christmas books that we bring out to go ahead and read during the month of December. So I thought this was really like a cute way to go ahead and display them. So while I have you guys here, I'm actually going to kind of get your opinion. This is kind of how we have our playroom set up at the moment. And if you remember my bed, the bed used to be going this way along this wall. And then we had our longer bookshelf thing over here. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for this room or if you guys like it this way or if you think I should go ahead and change it back. I'm really like indecisive on this part. And then in our closet is actually, we have the tall bookshelf just kind of standing in there with all the toys, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. I like that this actually gives it a lot of space in here, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas. So that is all that I have to show you guys this year for our Christmas home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and just kind of seeing everything that we have this year. This is our very first Christmas in our house this year. So I'm really excited to kind of decorate and just feel the coziness because I don't know, it was just been really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also wanted to let you guys know I have been getting a ton of questions about sending us Christmas cards. I would absolutely love that. I think that is the coolest thing that you guys would like to do that. So if you wanna send us your Christmas card or just a letter or anything, go ahead and send it to our PO box. I will just leave that up on the screen up here. And then it's also down in the description box at all times as well. So again, I would just love that. I think that's so sweet that you guys wanna do that. So do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And also to head over to Instagram and follow me over there. And I will see you guys in my next one. Christmas memories